Good to go. You, you guys, you, you bought this thing, huh? We sure did, Quinn. We just, uh, it's the first boat we looked at and we just decided, uh, hell with walked it. Walked up to it and you fell in love. Uh, love's a strong word, wow. but, uh. Wow, yeah, where to begin? Um, you've got a nice little project. Sounds like the rig is gonna be coming out of the boat and in terms of whether or not uh, we were just sort of looking at standing rigging. Um, because that's, that's what class this is. This is marine tech rigging, and the, the Sillies bought this boat, and they want to know whether, yes, replace it, please. Uh, it probably has been replaced at some point. They reuse turnbuckles. These, Navtech said, replace every five years. They're bronze on stainless, which is great, and that's threaded. The problem is they trap water. You get crevice corrosion going on inside that you can't see, and kabang, and down comes your mask. So at the very least, we'd be replacing those. Mm -hmm. um, we have good lengths. The rig's going to be out of the boat. It, it's a wise thing to do. We don't know what the age of this is. Um, just looking up it, you can see that the, the wire has a little bit of a, a color to it. Not much of a pattern, um, but it is a little, there's a little surface color there going on. Uh, the inner force day is pretty very obviously got a uh, non-straight thing going on. It looks like it's been twisted at various points in its life and then tensioned. Uh, halyards. Uh, uh, I wouldn't go up on these. Um, probably hold me, but these are, you know, these are probably at least 15, 20 years old, probably older, maybe 30. Ugly splice. Ugly splice. You can see that the, the strands have started to lose distinction, significant fraying. If you washed that, you'd see that, you know, it's kind of matted down by the mildew, but the UV's taken its toll over the years. Um, I don't think they were actually probably original. This was probably it's stay set X, which was not wonderful line to begin with. Um, and it's uh, a bit on the fat side, actually. It's a pretty big boat. Uh, yeah, it's probably about right, but it, we can we can do better, certainly. Mm -hmm. um, got a uh, jib boom for the staysail, which is a pretty antiquated setup, so depending on what y'all's budget is, we can do a neat upgrade on this boat by going to an endless line furler and um, modernizing the staysail program. Uh, looks like looking up, there is a place to add running back stays already on the mast, so that there is a couple tangs. Uh, the mast section itself from here looks relatively okay. It looks like somebody's done some patchwork to remove poultice corrosion. You can see where the mast has been painted in some spots. Uh, it's got a fixed ring for the spinnaker pole, so if you guys are flying kites, we should talk about putting an actual track on. Mm -hmm. It's nice to be able to raise and lower your inboard end of your pole. Um, does not have a rigid bang. Doesn't actually have a boom bang at all right now. Just doesn't have a bang. Yeah. Uh, main sheet tackle is the original kit. It's probably time to upgrade that. And nice performance upgrade for the boat. Probably live with the cars, the traveler cars that it's living on, unfortunately. Uh, that's kind of a, a bear, but if you get real frisky, we can talk about something like that. Um, I would suggest maybe we think about, it doesn't really look like there's much of a well thought out reefing program going on here. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's something we'll want to look at, actually rigging the boat. Um, wire to rope halyard, mm -hmm. which Get rid is of that. Uh, totally 1980s. Uh, um, basically all new running rigging from yeah, what we're seeing here. All new running rigging, some new blocks and hardware are going to be in store. I'd say that organizer would be a prime candidate because we're probably going to want to lead some more stuff back. Right. Got a nice house top winch right there. And right now it looks like he's got damn near everything forward. So depending on what the what the uh, design brief is and the budget is, that's something to probably think about. Um, something that we looked at is this. Uh, this, yeah. Here, let me get on board and I'll just start pointing. So, uh, 
Boom's actually kicked up a little bit right now. I don't know how the sail is cut, but it may very well be that when the sail's all the way up, the boom drops down and actually hits this. Not out of the realm of possibility. I would bet this boat probably got sailed about twice, maybe. And this was probably put on it. Who knows? So, something to check on. Uh, again, like the boom top, the fixed boom topping left, ancient covered wire, especially with no rigid boom vang. Be nice to do something there. Uh, probably do a, I don't know whether you guys want to repeat, it's got a single side man on it. So those might actually be worth reusing. Yeah. It's the rare case where I'd say reuse a stay lock fitting because uh -huh. they're pretty expensive. Um, chain plates we checked look like they're going to at least come out and get inspected. This is pretty typical. This is what you see on 80 to 90 percent of the boats in the marina. You guys got a boat with good bones and it needs all its muscles replaced. Wait, uh, that's not. Which, how do we say this? With, uh, yes, what a lovely boat you guys have. Uh, I especially like the, I do like the beige camouflage gel coat. I think that should get, get clean. I, I think, I think so. Three tone. The main question, Quinn, is, is there some learning opportunities to there be had for students? There are all sorts of learning opportunities here. There are so many good learning opportunities here. I yeah. can't begin to count them. Yeah, just with our rigging class. Um, we were even looking at, like, winches and yeah, the... Winches need so oh, they're a little yeah. sticky, guys. So sticky. we want those babies to move a lot hey, better. Here's a learning experience. Clean this track out so the car will actually go back and forth. That's something we could yeah. do is actually add a car system that works. Doesn't look that. like they were actually even using anything yeah. there. Uh -huh. Yeah, so see if there's um, no block here. Right. Uh, also no furler. Yeah. No furler. So we may be talking maybe talking furler. Something to put on the net, maybe. Yeah. Um, this is gonna be one of those where we sit down and we write our own spreadsheet. Right. Uh, <laughs> uh, I like this. This is Stay on the boat, please. That's <laughs> good. But you think new lifelines? New lifelines, yeah, you can see the at the stanchions where the cover's gone in places. Mm -hmm. um, you don't know what the wire looks like inside the cable, nor how old it is. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the original AC. Right. Uh, you can see at the, the end, particularly that end. Yeah, it's ugly. Look how red the definitely some right. coloration right. happening there on stainless turnbuckle mm -hmm. so you're likely to have either frozen threads or crevice corrosion going on inside it mm -hmm. uh yeah our old friends awesome all right <clears throat> well we we're ready to it's open got, up it looks like you got a usable spinnaker pole sort of <laughs> yeah maybe yeah it's like extendo with uh pins in it i bet the that, spinnaker's never even been flown cool. on this Pole. Somebody, somebody used this boat at some point. Yeah, no, they sailed it. I uh, think that the solar they took got it. After they that, went uh, to Hawaii and to Mexico Hawaii. and okay. yeah. They were downwind the whole way. They, they, they probably went. Once. They probably went the right direction. The proper, the proper triangle. The yeah. Breeze off your starboard quarter and you go. Exactly. All right, guys, that's the report that's for cool. now. Ooh, look at